up a bit more of the same today. We've got the tank trims, I think that's what we're going to call them, the tank trims going on to the boil kettle. I've just put in the boxing around the top inlet. Uh, going well. I'm just waiting a little bit for this to cool down before I get in there and flow that back edge. And then I've got two more semicircle pieces to put onto the top edge and then the off stand 20mm trim to go on there. Once that's done, then that will be the boil kettle ready for cladding and we can move on to a fermenter. And uh, we're really, really getting close now to being able to put timber on these. I'm getting very close to using that full bottle of argon, so there must have been a heck of a lot of welding going on. If you, if you look at the size of this bad boy, oh you saw me bring it in. That ain't a little baby bottle that one, it's a full blown five footer. So, possibly the end of this week I'm going to have to shoot across to works up and get another one. I can imagine though if I'd have still been using the smaller bottles that would have cost me closer to 240 quid, something like that. So this is really, really good value. Just another day of cracking the whip actually today. So not too much footage. So basically I've got all the trim work done on the fermenter. No, boil kettle, yeah, boil kettle. It's three, I've got to go get the kids, turn the gas off. Uh, yeah, I've just got to flow a little bit of the weld on the outside, then that will be done. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Grab the bag, grab the keys, grab the dog. Yeah, I think I'm going to do something else this afternoon. Not sure what, oh, I might treat the kids. It's been a, it's been a while actually. I've spent a lot of time really focusing on getting this done for obvious reasons. Uh, I want to have the tanks and everything ready for the time when the uh, the license and everything is granted. So what I don't want to do is still be working on the equipment. I want to be brewing beer, you know. Oh, lights. I want to be brewing beer immediately. So I'm really trying to get all these tanks completed before then. And because of that, I think I've not seen the kids as much as I uh, should have done in the past two or three weeks. So it's been a case of seeing them before they go to school and seeing them before they go to bed, particularly when I'm working till seven. And I do feel guilty for going for a pint or two on a Friday or a Saturday, because that also causes me to miss time with them. But God, we're doing it for a beer, aren't we? Right, I'm just off to pick up the children. And then, I'm sick of looking at that clock, right? We're gonna make a new clock. Maybe not for here, but I want a clock for the workshop so we can see what time it is on time lapses and stuff. And I've just seen on the internet the best freaking clock in the world. Maybe you won't get it if you're in America, it's a bit of a British thing, but man, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. Right, folks, yeah, not a lot done today. Uh, in terms of filming so I've got home and thought I know what I'm gonna do something a little bit different I bought myself a clock I bought myself a bunch of batteries and we're gonna turn this plain old cheap 599 clock into an exciting and uh, very funny timepiece for the brewery it's not going to be a Harrison's Brewery clock or anything like that. It's going to be much more vulgar. So Gemma and the kids have been banished upstairs while I get this sorted. So let's first crack on with seeing how we get the face out of this bad boy. Hmm. Aha! That's handy. Yeah, hey, oh. Well, first, let's check she works. First things first, let's check that she's she's a working. 
So I've got a big, aha, big old 20 pack of double A's JCB alkaline batteries from Home Bargains. Oh, she's not a ticker, she's a spinner of some type. She slopes around, so let's get this off and let's see if we can probably lose an eyeball. Removing these clips. Right, how do we get this out? And there we are, it's almost like a cake tin. So now we've got that, what we want to do is get the face off. It's just a paper face. So do we just pop these off with a wiggle? Yes, so that's the second hand. Oh, you come on, you cheeky little blighter, yay. Ah, got it. So, the hour hand on first, then the second, uh, the minute hand. Well, what I might do is leave this clock face in and just put the new one over the top of it, I think. I think that's a good idea. Right, let's go and get the new bit. Okay, so we've got the face. So let's give the game away. And we're going to bring in our clock face, our new one. So this, some of you may know or may not, is a chap called Jeremy Beadle. And he was famous for... A TV program called Beatles About where he used to make pranks on people for instance drop skips on their car or throw their car into a river or something like that and he was also the presenter on You've Been Framed which now we've got Harry Hill doing it it did go for a really boring patch of that big girl from uh, Coronation Street doing it and she was rubbish but now we've got Harry Hill but anyway I digress this is Jeremy Beadle no less and this man thought he was a comic genius and comedy for him I think I read in one of his autobiographies or an interview comedy for him was escapism because he was bullied a lot at school and he was bullied because he had a deformed hand now you could say I'm taking the mick out of him a little bit and I guess I am but his deformed hand was a lot smaller than the other one I think he got over it in his lifetime but anyway it makes Jeremy an ideal candidate for a clock because you need a big hand and a little hand. So he'll be perfect for the job. Jeremy lives on. Jeremy's going to live on at Harrison's Brewery. Because he's a very nice chap. And he's going to tell us the time every day. Tell us when we need to go and pick the children up. Because that's a common recurring theme at the moment so Jeremy when the little hand is pointing at 12 at 3 sorry and the big hand is pointing at 12 it's time to go and collect the children from school cheers Jazz cheers Jazzoid Right, I can't, I can't find any Pritt stick or anything like that, so we're going to have to do the job with some Wilco's PVA glue. But I suppose it is for for crafting stuff, isn't it? So 
Let's put his hand down the side there. Let's see if we can get some glue. So, so there's the two actually, hands. So it actually looks like it. Yeah, and then this actually, this was more luck than judgment. It fits smack in the middle of the numbers. So if you want this picture and you want to make your own, all you have to do is search for Jeremy Beadle clock on the Tinter webs, and lo and behold, you'll find this exact image because that's where I found it. A mate of mine shared it actually um, on Facebook, just a, an image of it, this image, and it had me in stitches, so I immediately plagiarized it and decided to go ahead and make one. Make my own Jeremy Beadle clock. Who doesn't want a Jeremy Beadle clock? No one. Everyone wants one. That's right, everyone wants one. I know I do. Because you're making one right now. Yeah, I must do. Makes perfect sense when you put it like that. Yep. Oh, this is the trouble with the PVA. Yep. It's got wet and it's starting to stretch and curl the clock up. So fingers crossed, it stays wet enough, long enough for me to position the man. Ta-da! Ta-da! I'm impressed with that. Right, so now... Add the arms. Oh, we've got to cut a hole yeah, so we use for the middle. And then it's the minute hand. And the top. We have the second hand. So. Da, da. That's him at 12 o'clock. Let's pop it back in here. In we go, Jezza. And if a kid's doing this, a grown-up will need to help. They will. S that's safety first. Safety first, or as we like to say, safety third. Yeah, sometimes safety first. Right, I've adjusted that. So now we should be able to put him to 6.37. And there we are. You better watch out, cause Beatles are about. Right then, so yeah, Jeremy Beadle clock. It's still moving. It's still moving. It's still moving. So as exciting as that was, that's us for the day, because we haven't had any tea time yet, have we, Abby? No. No. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.